Hey guys, it's Coach Mike, owner of Empowered Sports and Fitness, and welcome back to another movement game of the day. And today's game is all about social and emotional skills. But more specifically, it's about our feelings, right? We all have feelings, things that make us happy and sad or angry or confused. And what I've gone ahead and done is I've based this game around the holiday of Halloween. And right behind me, you may notice that I have a bunch of different pumpkins. And each of these pumpkins has a different expression that identifies their feelings. So for you at home, this is a fun do-it-yourself game that you can play with your athlete. So what I went ahead and did was I found different facial expressions on different pumpkins. All right, I've got happy, I've got angry, I've got confused, sad, silly, scared, and sick. Again, many of these feelings we can all identify with. Now, what you're going to want to do at home is have your athlete step up to the board and ask your athlete, can you point to the pumpkin that looks happy? And then see if your athlete can point to the happy pumpkin. Can you point to the pumpkin that looks sick? doesn't feel very well. Well, we've got our sick pumpkin right here. What about our scared pumpkin? Which pumpkin looks terrified like this? Well, we've got our scared pumpkin right there. What about our angry pumpkin? Can you find the angry pumpkin? Well, right here, we got our angry pumpkin. And what about our sad pumpkin? Where's our sad pumpkin? There's our sad pumpkin. And what about our silly pumpkin? Where's our silly pumpkin? Right here. And finally, where is our confused pumpkin? Where's the confused one? Right here. So, this is an awesome game to work on identifying feelings, facial expressions, all through some of our favorite holidays, like Halloween, for example. And another thing that you can do with this game to get your athlete learning about their left hand and their right hand is you can ask them, can you point to the happy pumpkin with your left hand. So the athlete would have to come up to the board and point with their left hand like this. And another little aspect that you can add to this game is having the athlete cross the midline by having to reach and touch the pumpkin that is diagonal from them. Okay, so that's another thing you could do. So you could have your athlete reach, let's say, with their left hand to find the confused pumpkin. So if they're facing the board like this, they have to reach across their midline with their left hand to touch the confused pumpkin. So you can do this game at home with your athletes. You can add any kind of component you want to this game. This is just a scaffolding to get you started at home and having fun. Remember to keep moving, keep playing, and always have fun. And I will see you next time.